Yo, in this video, I'm gonna show you an FL Studio hidden gem, and it's how to pitch bend chords in FL Studio. Not only how to pitch bend chords, but how to pitch bend specific notes inside of the chords in FL Studio's piano roll. Stay tuned all the way to the end. You don't wanna miss anything. Let's get right into it. Most of us know how to do 808 slides and glides in the piano roll. If you don't, I can show you that real quick. You just have a basic 808 pattern right here. Now, if we want to add a slide or a glide note, there's a couple different ways you can go about it. You can go up here and you can click this little icon. If you turn typing keyboard to piano off, you can hit the letter S and it'll give you a slide note. So you can see that that icon, every time I hit the letter S, toggles on and off. And then the next note you put in will be a slide note. And if you put the slide note on top or above the note, it's going to slide up. If you put it below, it's going to slide down. Give it a listen. So if I shorten it, and move it over the slide isn't going to start until it hits this line and then between here and here that's how long it's going to take it to go from an f to a full d sharp in between here and here it's going to start bending there so if you were to set it over here it's going to start at an f and then go up to a d sharp by the time it gets to this line so that's why i'm saying the length of this note matters now, getting into chords and specific notes in chords. So not only can you pitch bend an entire chord progression or an entire chord, there's also a way that you can pitch bend a single or multiple notes inside the chord and only affect the notes that you want to affect in slide. Watch this. Now, this does have to be on an FL Studio stock plugin. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. This isn't going to work on just anything. So let's just real quick create a basic chord. So again, we can get a slide note here and let's say we want to pitch bend this entire chord up to a G. It's going to take this entire chord and it's going to pitch bend it up. Now, if you want that sound cool, sounds pretty dope, but if you want to get really specific and only pitch bend one of those notes inside the chord, you're going to have to do one very specific thing. And this is something that I stumbled across uh, a while back and something that should be explained a little bit more and should be talked about a little bit more. But this is really interesting. So what you have to do is you have to change the colors of these notes. So I'm going to, for instance, I'm going to change this note to pink. Whoops. Go here. So let's do a pink note here. And for G, let's do... I don't know, a yellow, we'll leave that one green. And then this last C will do, I don't know, like a blue, right? So we got blue, green, yellow, pink. Let's say we only want to pitch bend this G, which is yellow. We're going to take that, we're going to copy and paste that. And let's say we want to pitch bend that to a D sharp, right? And we only want this G. Let's put a slide on that D sharp pitch bend right there. So now... The only note that's going to bend in here that's going to pitch up, that's going to slide up is the G. Whatever is yellow is going to slide up. Gives it a completely different sound. You can create some really fire chord progressions like this. Now, let's say if we want to add a D sharp here. So now the D sharp and the G are both going to slide up. And now everything is color coded and the colors actually matter when it comes to this slide and glide effect so let me know what you think down in the comments are you going to utilize this feature did you know this already let me know and please make sure you like comment subscribe and share this with a friend if you get me